Here's one thought for you. Pick a date, any day. Mm. Uh, 27th of November, 1987. Friday. Here's another one. 3rd of December, 1974. Tuesday. Okay, let's have a check. Let's, uh, I'm in my terminal, so calendar, uh, what was the first one, 1987, 27th of November. Uh, bang, Friday. Let's try another one, calendar, 1974. 3rd of December, Tuesday, woohoo, how did I do that? Okay, so if you took Minecraft, uh, session number three, we looked at memory techniques and what I'm going to show you now is the secret. This now, my grandfather taught me this uh, back in 1980 uh, when I was about five, six years old. See if you can do it. Here's a number. See if you can dev uh, devise a mnemonic to remember it. Zero, three, three, six, one, four, six, two, five, zero, three, five. Ah, look at that. They're aligned with the animals of the months of the year. What could those numbers be? See if you can find out. There's actually meaning to those numbers and they can help you with another brain skill. But we'll get back to that later. And you can use whatever method that you want to do is. And those actually mapped to the months of the year. So January, February, and we map them down here. Now, one thing to um, keep in mind as we're doing this, while we're there, I'm going to give the days of the week um, numbers as well. And so Sunday, Monday, does that go to Saturday? Let's pull it back to Sunday. We need, so we just need one of them. So I'm going to call Sunday zero, Monday one, and so on. So Saturday becomes six. So from now on, when you think of Monday, think of Monday as one. Sunday is zero. If it, anything, and we're working on about days. So these are the I'll show you. If you have a look at a calendar, let's have a look here. Um, I'm going to zoom it up for you. We have the first, supposing the 1st of January was counted as zero, whatever that day was. So here it's a Tuesday. Whatever February's 1st of February is, Whatever the day difference from zero is, that's its number. So if Tuesday, we'll call Tuesday two, what is February? Friday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. The first of February is three days more than the first of January. So if I come back here, I put three. Everything's relation, in relation to January. So the first of March, Friday, same as February, is also three days more than January. So we put April, so according to this, it should be six. So if the 1st of January was a Tuesday, what is um, Tuesday plus six? Tuesday is two, two plus six is eight. Now we subtract seven because it's base seven for the days of the week is one. So I predict that the 1st of April should be one Monday. Bang, and there we have it. And so basically each month is given a number as for how many days different to January is, and that's where we get not 336 I've remembered this since 1980, um, this sequence of numbers. It's always been, I just know October again is zero. So the 1st of October will be the same as 1st of January every year. 1st of October, Tuesday, 1st of January, Tuesday, zero and zero. Okay, so the days of the week numbered zero to six. And so basically, if you're going to count Let's look, um, we have a year number. How do you calculate the year number? You just remember this formula. We take, so if we have the year, 1974 we were calculating. What you do, let's just take the right two numbers of those. So I'll get the right two numbers of E2, which is 74 
Oh, actually, I should put that down. Whoa. So I'll say this, this is just the number. Um, right to. So here we go. Right. So that gets me the right two numbers there. So I've got 74. Now, I'm just telling you now, we're working with the 1900s. There's actually a century number two, but it just happens for the 1900s, the century number is zero. So we don't have to worry about it. Okay, so what do we do? There are two numbers we add together. We want to divide by seven. So you need to know your seven times tables and you need to know your four times tables for leap years. So let's do the seven times tables first. Now, what we want to get is the remainder. So we want to divide 74 by seven and whatever that closest multiple of seven is, we want the remainder then between then and now. We call this a modulus. So we'll call, we'll, I, we want to get the mod seven. So the way to do that, um, I just say mod 1974, so that's F2 by seven, and that should give me four. There you go. So because 70, 70, seven times 10 is 70, and so four is the remainder between 74 and 70. And then we want to get the divisor um, of four. So what actually 74, 1974 divided by four is. So we'll say div four. So here we go um, F2 divided by four. And that's 18.5. We don't need the 0.5. We just need the 18 there. So we want to round that down. Let's type round down. And we get 18. And all we have to do is sum those two together. So we do G2 plus H2, 22. And then finally, because we work on a base seven, we want to mod seven again, which will give us um, our year number. So we'll mod seven again. So equals mod. We want to get I2 mod 7, which is 1. So this is the year number. Um, the year number for 1974 is 1. So the way we do it, we add the, let's see, the year, which is 1974. So we're doing 74 here. So the year number is 1. I'll write here, year number one, my birth date, so 3rd of December. So the month is December. So if it's December, what is the number that corresponds to that? Five. I can just do a vertical lookup here. So let's do a V lookup equals V lookup. And I, uh, I want to get these ones here. So my search key is F. 8 December and I'm going to look up in this range here and I want to get the second field which is the number not the month so that's the second field and it's not in order so false that should work five okay so see that pulled this five from here into there it looked for December and got me that now I want to get the actual date so I said the third of December so date so third, and so I will just add F, um, what, is, what is that, F9, still bring this over, and I won't get it, the sum of it. So let's add all those together, sum. Nine, okay, so I've added the year number, the month number, and the date number together, and I get nine. Now, um, what day is nine? Well, you subtract the multiple of seven. So again, we need, just need to get a mod on that. Uh, mod seven. So I'm gonna pull a mod seven on this cell here, which is, uh, what is that, G9. So equals mod G9, oh, sorry, G10 uh, of seven which is two. And if I really wanted to, so the day name, 
I just pull, what is two? Well, two is a Tuesday. Um, so I, let me just do another VLOOKUP just to have it looking nicely. So VLOOKUP and I want to pull that two, which is, what is that? G11. And I want to pull from this range here. And I want to get the, actually the second value, but I just need to swap them around and false. So it's looking for a key here. So what I'm going to do is just shift this data X, V, and then just copy this back here, X, and then paste it in here. So I've actually using this data here as the reference. And so if I do this again, um, V look up G11, and I'm looking up this now, A, I'll just delete that. And then I'm looking up this range here, there. Now that's to me Tuesday. Amazing. So let's have a look. Is the 3rd of December, 1974 a Tuesday? Come back to my calendar. Um, 1974, 3rd of December. It is indeed a Tuesday. Uh, let's look at another um, date. So what's the 6th of June, 1945. So we want to do 1945 in here. Um, you can see that the year number for 1945 is zero. Now, you have to be careful if there are leap years. So if it's a multiple of four, uh, one gotcha is that you know, need to know your four times tables. If it's a multiple of four, you know that anything up until the last day of February, so it would be the 29th of February, um, you subtract one from whatever that year was. But this one looks okay because 1945 is not a multiple of four. And so let's say 1945, the month uh, June, the year is, um, oh, sorry, the date, let's say the 6th of June. And then the year for this, what's the year number? The year number is, what's this, J2. J2. And so it says that the 6th of June 1945 should be a Wednesday if you add these ones up. Calendar 1945. Uh, let's have a look. June. There you go. Wednesday. It works. Um, one little thing that if you're doing things from the 2000s onward, uh, you just have to um, subtract one from the year number. So whatever the year number is that you work out here, you subtract. And so if I say want to do 2021, it says five here, I subtract one. So the year number in 2021 is actually four. So today is the 29th of April. So given that this is um, the 20th century, I'm going to use the year number of four. So I'll put this here. So 2021. Um, and today I'm telling you that today is Thursday, 29th of April. So April, uh, the date is the 29th. And it tells me Thursday, this system works. Now, adding a couple of numbers together in your head isn't a different, difficult thing. But what is interesting and, and the reason I bring it into Minecraft is because as I'm doing those, you might have remembered one run, two zoo and the animals. As you're remembering the number, so oh, what's the number for the year? What's that? I'm just putting it on the backs or supposing the year number was five. For year, I'm picturing a dragon because a dragon is five. And that way I'm not going to forget it then as I'm doing my other calculations. It's like it keeps it in RAM for me and I can bring them back in and in my head make a calculation. Now the amazing thing about the brain is that you can put all of these calculations together within what, five, 10 seconds and get even faster. There are people who are much, much faster than me, but keeping your brain active with this kind of arithmetic, not using calculators, not using your iPhones or whatever is fantastic for the brain cells. And it just keeps your brain alive and it keeps you alive. 
Give it a go and see if you can use this at the next party as a, as a party trick with your friends. Thank you.